I think uh, Victor's customers are facing a, a number of mega trends. Uh, you know, first of all, we see uh, a steadily aging population. Uh, if we look at our medical sector, uh, we see the need for decreased depletion of natural resources, and our technology and innovation has certainly a lot to contribute there. Uh, we see the need for reduced CO2 emissions, and uh, by being an enabler for lighter technology that can replace heavier alternatives, you know, we have a clear value contribution there and, and we have a lot to offer. Uh, last but not least, you know, there is this steady demand for making everything smaller and lighter, particularly in the electronic sector. Peak in itself is a very differentiated material and that our journey about how do we deliver increased value from that uh, material into markets that uh, don't enjoy the benefits at the moment is all about product leadership. And the way we do that is to look to make sure that there is a genuine unmet need and the fact that a peak solution can answer that unmet need. So how do we understand where to innovate? It's a combination of two things. It's a combination of fundamentally understanding our markets of rigorous strategic market analysis to identify opportunities and combining that with in-depth dialogues and discussions with our key partners, our key customers, so that we match their needs and issues with the market opportunity. When we look at um, delivering new solutions, we often find ourselves in a situation where we're doing something so different that the value chain doesn't exist. And as we look down the value chain from forms into parts to build that, it's often easier, quicker and better for us to work with partners in the supply chain space who have the capability already to make similar parts. With each of those, it's not about the supply chain necessarily, but bringing innovative, disruptive technologies to our customers so they in turn can launch their own innovations and generate new markets and new growth.